Pokeheads, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I have two packages that I'm pretty sure are PSA slabs of the same era that I've been picking up, same theme. So we're gonna take a look at it. And also, I'm gonna give you guys an update of the time capsule binder and slabs, just so that you guys know where we're at right now. We're at 18,800, I mean, 12,800 in value, total value for everything. But with these two slabs, I'm pretty sure we're gonna cross the 13,000 mark. So we're <laughs> we're climbing every day, fams. Appreciate you guys if you support uh, this channel, if you wanna support the channel, check out the Discord down below. It's a marketplace that I created where you can buy and sell from reputable sellers, right? And I sell there as well. There's verifications, there's safe trading. When you trade Pokemon cards, you're like, yeah, just send me the card, I'll send you mine. So instead of that, you can go through me as an option. So take a look at that. We're gonna take a look at these cards. And one thing that I wanna mention um, is when I look at the population count of these cards, it kind of <laughs> confirms my suspicion that these cards were at a, uh, a date before the hype, so there are less of them. For example, I just bought today a Raichu and Alolan Raichu Tag Team Alt Art. And that has like a population count of 800. So that's one of the better cards from Sun and Moon. And, and if you compare that to something like a VMAX Alt Art from Sword and Shield, the population count of that already, which is a newer card, is in the thousands. So it is insane. And also, I've been trying to pick up these cards and I've noticed some of these prices have been shooting up like the Umbreon um, Darkrai promo, the alt art promo, I recently picked up as a PSA 10 on eBay for 350. And then I tried to buy a second copy from an auction because I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it around the same price. And it sold for 500. <laughs> so in less than a week, uh, this card that I just bought has been jumping up. That could have been a one-off, but I found that interesting. And all the other cards as well, I uh, have been increasing, maybe because I've been buying a lot of them and increasing the price of, the, of them myself. So really, we're going to take a look at that. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started here with the lots, I do want to announce that I'm doing a promotion here, a giveaway for the people, the 300th person that joined my TCG Discord down below. We'll get this for free. We're only five members away, so it could be you. Check it out, fams. And again, it's an, a place that you can get awesome deals from reputable sellers. So now we're going to check out this lot that I'm probably going to be adding some of these cards here to the time capsule binder like right now. And whenever I get these lots, um, I go through it, show you guys. But then later, I process it with adding the info on the back as to the price, the date, last sold listing, right? All that. So I'm gonna show you guys the binder in a little bit, but these two slabs here should be following the same theme. Um, I have been buying so many of them that I don't actually quite know exactly what these are, but we're about to find out here. I'm pretty sure one of them is another Mewtwo and Mew um, promo, tag team promo. Let's see. Yep, I guessed they're right. And if you've been wondering like, hey, I'm pretty sure this guy's bought a few of these. I have, this is my third copy and we're about to add one to the time capsule. Remember, I told you guys, these are really cheap right now. So even buying it off eBay with their fees, with taxes, this is a really good deal when I am used to buying really expensive cards. So this is my third one and I believe I have one more <laughs> coming in. Look at these cards, fam. Now this card does have a higher population count then some of the other ones, this population count is like at in the thousands, I think 4,000 or so. But if you compare that with some Sword and Shield promos, some of those promos are already in the thousands, right? And those are more read readily available. They're going to get graded more than these cards here. So these population counts are more locked in, less likely to change. If anything, it might fluctuate a little bit. In my opinion, of course, it could definitely not be the case. So now we're going to take a look. I'm going to see if I can show you guys this. Oh, perfect. It opened up pretty pretty good. With, I didn't want to reveal the label, right, with the personal info of the sellers. 
So this one should be different than the ones that I've bought before, if I'm remembering correctly. And these are cards that I came in in the weekend. I was actually surprised they came in so quickly. I was actually expecting them on Monday. There's probably some more coming in on Monday. Like I've been saying, I've been going crazy with some of these cards just because I've been seeing them shoot up and I want to get two copies of all of them before they get too crazy on me. Maybe people are watching these videos. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably self-fulfilling prophecy there. Um, but I picked up Vile Plume GX Sun and Moon. I mean, yeah, Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse. And this looks like an alternate art to me. It has all the resemblance of it. And I'm pretty sure it is because it has another Vile Plume GX in this set. Um, but I thought this card was super cool looking. And it's, again, a little bit more rare due to the population count. A little bit older set. So I had to pick this up. Really good deal. And I'm trying to pick up two of these. So that way I can hang on to the, one of them in the very, very long distant future and sell one of them. Right? I'm not even thinking of selling until like at least five years, maybe ten. And even then I would sell one copy. Some of these cards I have four copies of so I can start with those. But I am trying to keep these for as long as humanly possible. All right, now we're going to take a look where we're going to add, first of all, one of these because I was going to add this one already. I know the price, 130 And these have been kind of climbing up, so I'm sure the price now is higher. And maybe because I've been buying them out from eBay, the last like three of them have been from me, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's been a couple days now. I'm sure other people have been buying them. But these are super cheap that I'm just going to purchase as many as I can throughout the time. Now, I'm going to take a break from them now because I already have four of them. But if I have, you know, spare change, extra money, and I don't have any uh, anything to buy, anything specific, a goal um, that I'm going for in that week, then I'll go, I'll lean towards these cards here just because, again, they're pretty cheap for what I think they are. So I'm going to be locking this at 130 and I'm going to be adding both of these to the time capsule. I'm going to also be adding the Venusaur Snivy um, to the time capsule at 65. And I'm pretty sure, yep, the Celebi and Venusaur. Look at this, fam. Awesome artwork. It's a promo, and I bought this for $80. So if you take a look at the raw copy of the card, it's like 15. You look at the grading fee, is like 15 right so you're already there at 30 and you're i think it's a great deal because you're not taking the the risk of it coming back as a nine so that's why i decided to pick that up all these as a 10 and i will be adding some raw cards i haven't been able to add raw cards but let me show you guys where i'm at with those i've graded the top hits here the shadowless charizard First edition Blastoids, first edition Venusaur. And there was one more Shadowless Charizard um, that I added from, yep, from here. Uh, but as you guys are seeing, most of these hits are still here. And that's what this G is for that I was going to add here in the collection of the binder, but then later grade it and head over to um, the slab case that I'm gonna show you guys in a bit here. So all the progress we've been making so far from a bunch of different eras, black and white, XY, vintage, um, sun and moon, and of course, sword and shield, trainer galleries, alt arts, some 151, some crown zenith sets that I believe in, right? And uh, recently added this Mimikyu um, and Gengar GX. I need the alt art promo. The alt art promos, um, PSA 10 costs, uh, almost eight or over $800. So I've been actually thinking about it just because I don't think it's that cool. I actually prefer the regular um, versus the promo in terms of artwork, but I do want to have <laughs> at least a copy of that one. But I have been kind of hesitant because I don't think it's that cool of an artwork and it is pretty pricey, but I probably will end up buying it. Now the cards that I'm going to be adding in here, the raw ones are the ones that I've shown you guys before, just like I did now, but I'm um, showing you guys the package, right? I'm going to throw in the Rayquaza EX Delta Species from Dragon Frontier. 
And this one, light play, this is the price from the app, is at 113, which is higher than TCG player, which it always sees to amaze me because they're supposed to be say they're going off TCG player prices, but I'm pretty sure they're accounting different factors as well. Maybe not even market price, but last sold listing and things like that. I thought this was an awesome, awesome card, iconic. And I have the Delta Species Charizard. Like I was saying, uh, when I picked this one up, uh, these cards, if, uh, whenever I'm picking up vintage, have to be very iconic, unique, very, it, it needs to stand out compared to the rest. So I thought this one did that. We're going to be adding that in there. And uh, the last raw card, I'm going to be adding the Charizard and Braxton GX. These cards here are way off center, but they're really binder pieces. Um, but this is also the reason why I decided to just go for uh, graded copies, because even though these are minty, they are off center. So I probably don't think they'll get the nine or I mean the 10, they'll probably get the nine, but at least I can keep track of them in the, my binder and we can follow the progression of these cards. So I'm adding those cards in the time capsule binder and recently i've been adding slabs i told you guys i bought this case for the slabs so let me show you guys oh that closed my finger so these are the uh the slabs that i have in my case here i have in two different three different sections one is older cards older than sword and shield sword and shield and uh the gx tag teams so for Sword and Shield, I have the promo, Reshiram, Charizard, PSA 10, and I have the Garatina, right? Ooh, I forgot to write, write the price of the Garatina, but the Garatina has actually been dropping and it's been printed so, I mean, it's been graded so, so many times. Now, remember the, the logic here with the Sword and Shield alt arts is that even though they are um heavily printed and a lot of them are graded these cards are super crazy artwork which i feel like that demand will super over exceed um what the the supply is so i feel like these cards will go up now uh, obviously look i'm picking i feel more comfortable more conviction on the on the cosmic eclipse on the sun and moon type of cards so recap i have now two of them and I forgot to add this one in here. So now I have two two Mewtwo's, um, Tag Team, GX. I have the Togepi, Cleffa. I forgot to add the price on this one. But I'm pretty sure that one was like 100 and something, a little bit over 100. And then the Blastoise Piplup, PSA 10. These are 250 so that's what I paid as well. One of them I got off Discord. One of them I got off eBay. So we're going to lock that in. And then Charizard GX. This could have gotten either one of these piles. Uh, but being that it's from the Sun and Moon era, added to this pile. But I'm actually thinking about adding it to this pile over here just to keep the, all the GXs in this one here. And I'm also going to be adding the ones that I've showed you guys, right? The Celebi Venusaur. $80 insane. And the Venusaur Snivy. The another... Uh, Mewtwo. So now we have three Mewtwo's and Mew. <laughs> and there should be one more coming. I love, love these cards. And they're so cheap. So that's why I'm grabbing a bunch of them. And this one I need to price check. So as you guys are seeing, this is over $13,000 um, with the graded cards coming back. That will actually probably increase the price. So I'm hopeful that those get good grades, a little bit higher than I was thinking. Obviously, I don't think they're going to get 10s or 9s. If you get a 9 from a <laughs> Shadowless Charizard, you're in good money. But I probably think that will get a 7 or an 8. I'll keep you guys updated, though. Press the like button if you guys like the video. appreciate you guys. Subscribe and check out the Discord. I'll talk to you guys there. Later.